Hello, hello, Man here, and welcome back to Geneforge 2 Infestation. It is good to be back. We are on the full version of the game now, picking up from where we left off in the demo. And, uh, yeah, it is just really good to be back. And I do want to say, first and foremost, a big thank you to Spiderweb Software and Jeff uh, for allowing me early access to the game. That was, uh, that was very awesome, and I really, really do appreciate it. I'm very thankful for that. Um, and, yeah, it's also on the full disclosure front, I did receive a free key, so just, you know... Mixing those two together, but first and foremost, a big thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, one change we're going to be making, which I also don't want to forget, so let's go straight to that. We are upping it to... Oh, Torment. Isn't it Merciless on the front screen? Either way, we are upping it to the highest difficulty. Which, uh, am, I, am I mistaken? I could have swore that it was Merciless. Either way, we are locking that in. It's going to be terrible. And we will hope for the best. Okay, it does say Torment. Why did I think Merciless? Where is that coming from? I'm so confused. Did the demo say Merciless? Huh. Okay, I even went back to check my last videos, the first one. It said Torment. Where did I get Merciless from? I'm so confused. I've said it repeatedly. I've said it multiple times that I was going to up it to Merciless. I... Okay, if anyone knows what game has Merciless, where the hell did I get that? Because I'm... Super curious now, but no worries. Anyway, back to it. We have a lot to do. So, uh, yeah, we didn't even cover the full demo content because uh, I was very late to the demo, so I wasn't able to continue. Um, so I think we covered four of the eight that is in the demo, but obviously full version, so we'll have more options anyway and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we spent most of the last episode in the Drive Peak Warren somehow, over an hour and a half. But, uh, you know, it was good. We learned stuff. We got some training. Um, there are some living tools we can buy there. And I think we also have some more in town. Um, Zachary is cooperative but suspicious. Uh, both me and Shanti seem to be on, on the same page with it being bizarre, maybe not dead. Um, yeah, we still have some buildings we can't get into in town. We had some other stuff we couldn't unlock at a couple of the other... I think both of those maybe had some stuff we couldn't unlock. Uh, till we get our mechanics up. Uh, what else was going on? Yeah, so we got training in the Warren, which allowed us to get days, which is going to be super helpful, especially on Torment, which is apparently what it's called. Um, but yeah, we're going to need a lot more training there, so we're going to be stealing everything that's not nailed down to get our money up. So, <laughs> that'll be nice. Um... What else? What else? I think that was about all. I'm trying to like make notes to do like a mini recap both for you guys and myself. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of quests going on, which I definitely remember the journal button. Wait. Oh, did that just randomly save? Oh, it saved at the same time hit J. What is the journal button? I've completely forgotten. Either way. Yeah, we have uh, rogues to slay. We have uh, we have a couple things at the mine, which I think we're going to do today. Because we've got the mine rescue as well as the iron bar stuff. We need to get some salt weed for someone. There's that weird smart servile that's kind of suspicious. Not really sure what we're doing that yet. We talked to them all, but you know, I assume that's going to... Yeah. Uh, source of rogues, uh, that's one I think will be kind of a more long-term thing. Uh, potentially. Uh, then we have, yeah, Zen Satal's Purpose, which you get, I said last time, I feel like he should just go out into the world, but we'll figure that out. It is interesting, it says multiple locations, so I wonder if he's actually going to travel all around and we'll see him on a regular basis or something? Hmm. But yeah, main-wise, we need to locate Barzal, because, yeah, the Shaper Council sent Agent Shanti to investigate the settlement in Dry Peak Mountains. You don't know what caused him to be so concerned. He was sent with Shanti as part of your apprenticeship. Barzal is one of the two shapers in charge of the settlement of Dry Peak. Your orders from the Shaper Council are to find him and Zachary in a term of status of the colony. Which, yes, we've been told he's been dead, and I think it was for over a year? And, yeah, it's just all a little suspicious, so... Hmm. And then we also have, yeah, search Dry Peak Valley in general. Shiny wants to explore the valley around Dry Peak. Shaper Barzal is missing. Rogues everywhere, and everyone is acting odd. She wants to see if you can help find out why. She's wandering around investigating. You should too. See how far into the mountain you can get. Yeah, she kind of wants us to investigate because she feels like it's going to be more eyes on her type of thing. So that's good for us. And hopefully that kind of covers things. So, uh, it's kind of both for me and you guys just to keep connected in and everything. And yeah, I was thinking the mine stuff today. I feel like that's probably good. It's probably going to be combat heavy, which is... Uh, torment's going to be rough. 
Because I played the first game on normal difficulty. I upped it to better and better. You know what? Let's let's do the hardest, which in my head is still merciless. Um, but yeah, we need to... Yeah, I so said there's a lot of things like this. Living Tools required three. Yeah, I'll just say, yeah, so there's things that we could do. But I think we're best to up our mechanics first. Um, but it is going to be a bit of a balance. Because we... We need to be able to survive. Hmm. And, uh, oh, right, yeah. And training-wise, at the uh, Warren, we really want to get the Artilla as soon as possible. Because having the Artilla, which has, like, uh, has the ability to poison, combined with, like, days, is going to be really good. So that way we potentially, you know, say we're fighting, like, four, days three, poison one, focus on them, the poisons every time, yeah, just... Or if we're fighting two and two a days, then, yeah, it's just... The, uh, the dots in this game, as well as things like days, help a lot, so... Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm hoping I didn't forget anything in my ramblings there. And, yeah, I think we've covered everything here, I said, so I think we're going to head to the mine. Which I believe is this way. Because, yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the servals. They're a little suspicious. And, yeah, we may, we may die a bit. That's for sure. Okay, so I had to have a stop and uh, have a drink there. I may need a couple of refills today. I feel like... Yeah, it's been a while since I played a game like this and a lot of talking, a lot of rambling, a lot of reading. Uh, it just says mine rescue there, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be uh, the iron bars thing as well, right? Man, what is the journal button? It doesn't have one listed on it. Hmm, that's fine. Uh, yeah, Zuniga is a blacksmith in Dry Peak. If you find the iron bars thinking about, he'll pay you well for them. Yeah, that was right. We sold someone before we got that quest. That was, uh, unfortunate. You enter the Dry Peak Mines. The resources in these peaks were probably the reason the starting for starting this colony in the first place. Quality metal and gemstones are always in high demand in human cities, shape or otherwise. It is cold and damp down here. It's also abandoned. All of the servile mine workers have been pulled out. Road creations have moved in to replace them. You can detect the rank smell of feral beasts and their growls and hisses easily echo to you through the tunnels. Actually, monsters aren't the only thing you hear. You hear soft footsteps coming from a room to the west. Okay. Oh, right. I need to remember... Where is quick save? F3. Okay. I want to get used to utilizing that. Hello? A shaper. That's me. Scout Zora. Level 4. Friendly. Okay. But is there anything of value on the ground? That's the question. Shoes? I'll take some shoes. Lamp? You've got value. Oh, it seems we've been collecting shoes. Don't, don't mind me. It's fine. No worries. A shaper. That's me. But what else is going on? You hate this place? Why are you here? You can... The exit's right here, bud. Just, uh, don't mind me. I need to pick up random things for reasons. Then we'll chat. We'll definitely chat. Shackles and a whip. I mean, uh... Ooh. What, what have you been up to in this place? This box is locked. You don't have the key. Ugh. See, things like this, I'm... I feel like I need to make notes or something, because I, I want to be able to come back to stuff like this. But I feel like it's going to be so hard to remember stuff like that. I did start making some notes. But, yeah. Okay, I've started a new note to hopefully make things a little bit easier. I'll check the stuff I added last time and move it over, but yeah. So I just put Warren Mine, Lock Chest, Left Room of Entrance, so... Because, yeah, it's just... I, I don't know what this game's like with Living Tools, and our mechanics can drop them a ton, so... Like that one we had where we... I think we upgraded one, and it went from two tools to zero or something, so... Yeah. Uh, to be a servant in this forgotten land, serving the ways of the shapers set you apart. In the rest of the known world, keeping our ways is simple, but... Sim is, uh, keeping our ways is but simple wisdom. It is different here. Here, if you obey the law and justice of our kind, you are called servant. To rogues, servant is an insult. We have reclaimed it to a point of pride. Some things are good to serve. One day the whole story will be told. One day we can emerge from this lost place and say who we served and why. Until then, this simple statement of faith will have to do. I think we may have read that one. But still, uh, good to refresh. How are you? 
Single guard has been left to watch the entrance to the mine. Oh, she's a guard, okay. She's pacing back here, well back from where any of the rogues are wandering. A pair of hastily placed turrets outside protect her. She doesn't seem worried. When she sees you, she approaches and bows. Though you haven't met, she knows who you are. Word travels fast in a colony this small. Welcome, Shaker. Sh shaker? <laughs> Welcome, Shaper. Welcome to the mines. Dangerous though they are, I am Scout Zora. Are you the only guard watching the mines? Yeah, I'm the only guard so far. But one shout would bring in warriors from town. I'm not really worried. Anyway, the rogues don't come out this far. They're cunning. The rogues are cunning? Explain. I mean, not dumb. There are packs of them, and they send out quick ones to hunt. If they spot you, they'll call for help. When you get rogues all over the place. Then you get rogues all over the place. Unless you're ready to be real cunning or stealthy, you might want to explore by leaving Dry Peak to the west. These tunnels can get kind of hairy. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't, like, level-wise and what we're dealing with and stuff, like... It may be that we're smarter going somewhere else first. We'll still check it out, obviously. It doesn't matter if we have to come back or whatever. Hmm. How did you get chosen for this job? Shaper Zachary leaves it to the common guards to figure out how to determine the rotation. Yesterday, I lost a bet. A bet? All grace. She doesn't elaborate. Gotcha. Tell me about the situation in the mines. Bad. A lot of rogues snuck in there. When a bunch of warriors get together and drive them all out, they stay away. At first. Then, the moment we send in servals to work, the rogues are back, killing them. The Shaper set up some defenses, but they're not working right. Uh, what sort of defenses? They made some pylons. Just a few, but enough. Big, big magic things that'll kill intruders. They aren't working right. I don't know much about it. Why don't the Shapers fix the pylons? Shaper Zachary is the only one of us who might know how, and he never comes outside since Barzal left. Not my job to question him, is it? You ask her to elaborate, if she knows more. This common is wise enough to t not tell a Shaper. Hmm. What else do you know? Not much. Sorry. I never really spent much time in there. All I know is these rooms here. Oh, and I know there's a servant mine. Oh, I know where a servant mine is. Go north, take the right branch. First on the left. If still alive, it'll know a lot more than me. Okay. Interesting. I'm here to investigate the status of this settlement. I know. Zachary sent someone back here to tell me. I'm supposed to escort you around if you'd allow it, and the rogues aren't being extra active. Okay. I mean... If that's extra help in fights, that's, that could be useful. I can use your help, please show me around. Zora looks surprised and nervous. She thinks very fast. Oh, uh, so, sorry, Shaver. I've heard lots of, uh, rogues. Getting closer. Get closer every day. My orders tell me I should stay here where it's safe. Sa safe for Dry Peak. That's right. Sa safe for Dry Peak, if I say. So, so sorry. Okay. Didn't you just say about helping me? No? Okay. We covered all that then. Hmm. Alright. Well. Let's go for a wonder, shall we? Not really sure what to expect here. Uh, some extra lanterns certainly don't hurt. Do we want the lantern in here? Like, I don't know if we've used something. Uh, it's probably our lights up here. I thought I'd actually put some of them on. Yeah. Another door. Man, there's so many things locked. Yeah, I don't know what to expect level-wise from stuff here, so... If we've got to back out, we'll, we'll do it. Hello? Loot or friends? You find a servant mine in the back hall of its workshop. You're surprised to find that it's still alive. Servant mines are one of the greatest shaper creations. They are thinking machines. They never move. They spend their lives in specially made trays, eating, thinking, and running things. They do simple jobs that require some thought, but don't merit the full attention of a shaper. For example, this mind was surely in charge of running this mine. When the lonely beast sees you, it grins. Its tiny, useless arms and legs twitch with excitement. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these in a while. I do remember them quite well. As you approach, the servant mind's big, moist eyes roll up to look at you. It shakes itself in a jiggly motion, kicking off a bunch of dust and cobwebs. Nobody has visited in a while. Ah, Shaper. Good Shaper. Thanks, Shaper. Shaper comes to lonely Prip. I am Prip. Mines are dangerous. Shaper must be careful. Servant mines are made with huge range of intelligence. This one, this is not one of the brighter ones. 
Why are you still alive, Prip? <laughs> Not how are you still alive, why are you still alive? The rogues, they fear me. And they know I am not tasty, so they do not bother me. And when they do, I hurt them. They leave. Servant minds are often made with the ability to shock or otherwise harm attackers because of situations exactly like this one. Are your defenses still active? Grip raises its stubby little arms and closes its eyes. It's hard. Its hands begin to glow. Sparks fly out. Then Prip opens its eyes and the glow fades. Enough for pests, yes? Okay. What is your normal job? Servos come and say, dig where? Or... Work how long, or where bars go, and I say so when they do. It does not take much thought. It's boring work. Shapers have better things to do. Hmm. What is happening in the mines? I know not. I not know. I stay here in my tray, lonely. I run mine when servile. When have serviles and no monsters. With monsters and no serviles, I sit in sadness. Can you come with me to investigate? Rip raises its tiny, useless arms and legs so you can see them. Then he makes a wobbly, struggling motion. That, that does answer the question, huh? Um, do the mines have any defenses? Ish shaper. Good defenses. Pylons. Not active, but ready. <laughs> the defenses aren't active. Why not? Power to pylons must be limited. They cannot live forever. So control's set to off. To be on when it's time to retake mines. But off until Zachary or someone orders. I see. Tell me how to turn on the defenses. I am sorry, shaper. Orders is for the defenses to be off. Orders come from shapers. Normally, any servant mine will do what any shaper says. However, it can be complicated when two shapers give contradictory instructions. Uh, right. Okay. I command you. Tell me how to turn on the defenses. Rip looks very distressed. I get commands from different shapers. They are different. Sadness, difficulty. I will obey first order. Yes, I will not say. Prep closes its eyes and thinks confused. It stops hearing what you're saying. Okay. What if we go the other way? Tell me how to turn on the fences or I will destroy you. Oh, sadness. Other shapers told me what to do with much clarity. You feel a painful shock. It runs on your feet, you head it back down. You are not damaged, but it does stun you for a minute. You stumble back. Okay. Well... It's not my ideal choice to threaten him in such a way, but you know. I would like some defenses on. Alright. Well, we didn't learn much there, but... Nonetheless. Hmm. Another lantern, that's something. I don't know if it's active. Oh, whoops. Now it is. Does it like show somewhere? Hmm. So crystals. Crystals, you have value. You are friend. Oh, hi. Oh my. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. How much health do you have? 91 level 3? Oi. I'm like, so I'm going to commit to torment, but we'll see how we go, right? I'm not against changing him back to veteran, but I do want to do my best. I, I would, I feel like it would be very satisfying to be able to beat the game on torment, so uh, yeah. Right. Uh, no, probably just normal attack, right? Oh, seven. Oh, you got haste. Oh, my boy. It's good stuff. As for me, he took out half my health, man. So days, yeah, damages them ends of days. Right, right. Huh. Didn't expect to have to think so much already against one. I mean, I can probably take one more hit from them if they go at me. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not... Oh, fuck. Mortally wounded, you fell to the ground. Your training mission has come to an unexpected, miserable end. Eventually, the deadly stalemate in these mountains will end. A force will burst forth, surprise everyone, and cause all sorts of havoc. Alas, you will no longer have a say in who ends up in the victor. Who ends up with the victor. Of course, you can always try again. Ooh, I've been trying to avoid the menu music because uh, it's copyrighted. 
Like, it's one of them ones where you gotta pay, like, a fee to use it. So it gets a copyright thing on YouTube, which isn't a big deal, but, yeah. Uh, okay. That didn't go so well. Okay, we're back here, and I think something that would be interesting to try, like, to give us a kind of reference here. I want to swap it back to t Veteran, uh, just to see what the difference is. Because that was a level 3, and I think it started with, like, Overload, uh, 7 or something, and had 91 health, so... Yeah, I quick save right there. So we'll jump back, we won't commit to this. Okay, this still got Overload. I'll still 91 health. Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah. Although I, I don't quite know. Do you think it updated though? Let's throw it on casual for a second. Oh, it's got less health. And no overload. Okay. Let's jump back. Torment. Oh, that, that was nice. Okay, it doesn't have overload this time. We are in Torment, but I guess the overload's like a chance thing, maybe. Hmm. We are in level two, so yeah, I, thing is, like... Oh, right, Connex map. It could be that, like, even if this is just a level three, we may be better off going, like that person warned, to the other area. And there might be level 1s and 2s there we can fight, or something like that, so... Yeah, well, uh, let's see... Yeah, we'll see how we go. Might be worth a look. Because we're gonna have to play it smart, playing on a... Veteran. Yeah, Sounds Alarm is not good. And we getting hammered. That's nice though, that's nice. Ooh, I love the haste. Love it. Yeah, I gotta heal myself. Nice, nice. Uh, how much XP did we get for that? I did not see. Oh, crap balls. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. Oh no, it's much better. Oh, oh baby, level 22, I mean 22 health, yes please, delicious. That is, that is the good stuff right there. Oh, you and, uh, yeah, that was the scary one apparently. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, look at that juicy XP. That's the good stuff right there. Okay, this place might be more realistic if we're not dealing with just that all the time. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm, I'm going to be quick saving all over the place, so... Just don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, because we're not far off the next level, which can be really nice. Um... Er, if we could pull enough money together, I would really like to get the artillery training. Because, like, next level, I'm not really sure what I want to get. Um, because I, I feel like we may want to go for some magic shaping. Because I, I feel like long... Like, even... Like, roamers are pretty good. Roamers can be super good. They're very useful. But this is the awkward thing where, like... Uh, I really wish you could reset stats. I don't know if you... I don't know if you can in this game, actually. Because I, like, I would love to be able to invest into fire shaping early on, but then do a reset and invest into battle and magic. Because, like, the Artilla, I think Vlish, I think the Glock's the... Is the Glock like the Scorpion thing? Sort of. But yeah, these, like, you know, I'm not, not sure about the Gazer. But yeah, like, these involve, like, poison and stuff, which is super useful. Uh, so this is a claw bug, to be fair. Yeah, that's a scorpion I was thinking of, my bad. But, um, yeah, like, I, I don't know, I'm not familiar with any of these ones, these are new, I think. But yeah, like, these, the Roma can be good, Fiora can be good. But I feel like for most of the game, we're gonna be wanting 
battle and magic. I think Artilla actually is going to be good for quite a while. Um, but we kind of want frontline defense, I guess, because we, we want sort of a smaller, strong team. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to play things. But I, I would be tempted, at least to start, get the Artilla training and then invest one into magic shaping. Yeah. You get 10 skill points when you get a level. Spend them to increase your abilities. Wait, 10? Oh, right, because things cost different things. Right, right. Yeah, we'll probably up mechanics by one. Magic shaping by one. Hmm, let's figure it out. I, I might try and, like, confirm whether you can reset. Because if you can reset skills, that'll greatly to shift how I'm going to play. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll be quick, quick saving all over. Ooh, some iron. Nice. That could fund our training. Also, junk bag. Ugh. You need more stuff. Yeah, I've got a lot of random food, don't I? Um, let's, like, put some of this down here. To use for healing. Oh. Well, that works. Didn't mean to do that, but... Because they may as well just, like, kind of use some of this stuff here and there. I should Wait, can we give food to them? Ah. Guess they don't like pears. No worries. All right. Probably shouldn't ignore that. This is a piece of shape of machinery. It looks recently made, although mold and fungus are already creeping into it. A plaque on the side is legible. It says defense. On the side, you find very simple controls. A lever lever, a hole where a crystal control crystal might be inserted. Control crystals are generally used to keep unauthorized invaders. Shapers are common from activating and deactivating devices. You don't have the control key and your mechanics skill are too feeble to affect the device. There's nothing you do here. Ooh. Ooh. Hello game, you are really inviting me to be a pro mechanic, aren't you? I can work with that. What do we got here? Baskets are useful, why no value? I like baskets. Surprisingly, not too many fights so far. When you recognize the glowing crystal pillar ahead, you freeze. It is one of the more cunning and dangerous shaper inventions, a defense pylon. It's a gooey, fragile, magically charged creation, protected by a thick shell of pure crystal. They use to defend areas of great importance from intruders. Oh yes, I'm very familiar with those from the first game. I have very bad memories of them. <laughs> Luckily, this pylon decides not to incinerate you. It has been deactivated. Some pylons can only act if a nearby control permits it. Yeah, so I wonder if I had higher mechanics, I could have activated it and that would be attacking the, the rogues. Uh. Hello, are you bad? Of course you are. Oh, great. Well, this is going to be a reload. But I'll go down swinging. Yep. Okay, well that totally went well. That, that was that was totally fine. No worries. So I think one mistake here. Okay, well that didn't go so well either. As I was saying, uh, I think one mistake is that it may be better for us to initiate combat in these situations. I think they get an advantage when they're the ones initiating. I'm not 100%. So as it's running down... We hit F. Uh, not quite how I was planning it. Um. Can you hit, by chance? Okay, this is good. Yeah, so that, that's a much better start. Ooh, that's good too. Yeah, so our guys, like, um... We have very poor control, which is not good. So they'll often get charmed or things like that. That's what happened. In, was it the last one where I was very confused? Um, 
uh, do you remember like when I got attacked by the Thard and I was really confused about what happened? Yeah, I, I got charmed because of that, because combat was initiated in that moment. Uh, even though we weren't actually fighting, I think it was, or, yeah, it was a weird thing, but... Yeah, because I had completely forgot that Charmed is one of the ones that can happen. I knew they got terrified and stuff. I didn't know about the Charm, or I'd forgotten. And Charm is deadly, because both of them can just destroy me real quick if that happens. So, yeah. Terrified is unfortunate, but... As long as Thard is not, like, punching us in the face, not too bad. We cool? Okay. That's the stuff. So this is where we exit combat and we do a quick save and we hope for the best. We cool? Okay, it seems like, yeah, the, um... Yeah, I guess the level 3s are roaming around and level 1s are back up. Hmm. It's right back around here, make sure we explore everywhere. Crystals, yes, please. Ooh, Barvine, yes, please, too. What do we got? The barrel is full of junk, metal shavings, and torn clothes. The breakdown of odor in this order in this colony has rolled in very infrequent trash collection. You poke around in it for a bit, but you don't find anything of use. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. We had doors here too. I don't think I tried them. I tried that one, I think. I'm gonna walk past these, yeah. Oh, oh hello, tool. Oh, and more iron. Oh, we living good. Oh, yeah. We getting a payday from this place. Absolutely. This book contains mine records, how many servos they have, how many have they lost, how much iron and how many crystals they have been recovered, and so on. One page is complicated sketch on it. It's some sort of schematic, but you can't understand it. Okay, that's curious. That makes me wonder if that's like mechanics related to or something. Hmm. You know, I, actually, one thing I should maybe start doing, because I got the notes right, but maybe I should make screenshots of things like this. Because you make the records, and I would prefer something in-game, but, like, I, I find dealing with the journal a little... You know, it's uh, not as organized as I would like to be. Because I feel like this could be something. Okay, screenshotting doesn't work that well. It ends up kind of, like, alt-tabbing. But, big brain, I just take a screenshot of what I can see on OBS where I'm recording, so that, uh, that worked out. Very good. Uh, living tools, uh, we level up and we might be good on some of these, so we'll come back. We, what do we need? 160. That's not that much. Hopefully doable in this place. Let's see. I really wish I... This keyboard's such a pain for... Uh, oof, I didn't press combat myself. Yeah, because I got a function F3. It's not as nice as just tapping. I should probably change the shortcut. That'd be the smart thing to do. That was unfortunate. That was also... You know what? I'm just going to like call it a reload. Part of me wants to fight to the death, but then I gotta go through the menu and stuff. Oh, that's super inconvenient, bud. That is... That is very unfortunate. Hmm. If I daze you... Oh, right. I can... Oh, whoops. It's alright. That kind of... It's fine. Sort of bought us a turn in a sense. It, it can make it work. Probably. Uh, we got 24 health. We can take one more here. Have some thorns. That was not worth it. Oish. 
Oh, love that. Uh, what, how much health do you got left? 20. I feel like I've got to play it safe and just heal myself. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, bud. Um, the fact that I can, um, do a full heal on myself right now is super helpful. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Dang. Yeah, control is definitely kind of rough for us. Um, does that help that? I, I forget what helps control. Is it, is it upping this? Now that increases their level. Create more power, fire creating, eight point level, fire. Ba -ba. What's leadership do? Increase the number of options in conversation, helps you mince characters to aid you, also increase your control of your creations, increase their, oh. Damn, okay, that's an awkward one. Hmm. Because I feel like, ah, it's so tough to split, like, what you invest in. Because, like, so many are helpful. Because you kind of want multiple shaping skills. Healing craft can certainly be super useful. Um, mental magic is great. Because that's stuff like days. Um, and then, yeah, you've also got, like, mechanics. But then leadership both helps on the control, which can be the difference between life or death that we've seen. Uh, but also, I love things like more options in conversation. But, I don't know, it's like... This is, it just doesn't seem as good as the others in terms of, I don't know, that's tough, that's tough. What is it? We'll have to balance things out, we'll see. Okay, good start. But yeah, we, we actually, like, these are bad, so... Upping leadership by one next level is probably actually going to be very worth it. We're kind of relying on them not going crazy. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Oh, ah, oh, but oh, buddy. Um, you make this very awkward, bud. I have to heal myself and hope for the best here. Oosh. All right. Fine. Oh, miss on me. Oh. Ouch. I have one health. Oi. How much do you have left? Seven. And what are you doing down here? Why aren't you having turns? Okay. Uh. We may have to do a retreat. Actually, if there's level 1's coming... Buddy! It's level 3! Yeah, we run! Let's go, let's go! Come on! We need an essence pool! Because I'm out of stuff for uh, healing too. That's fine. Let's sell a few things real quick while we're here, because we may actually have enough stuff to sell right now that we can uh, get some more training. Because that would be good. Oh, right. I can't. i got to move things, don't I? Uh, well, let me... I don't know if I tested that. Let me just see. If I save... So, because I don't want to sell the dice, even though it's, it's silly, but I don't want to. Um, if I do that, yeah. Okay. Let me, let me sort out our crap to sell then. Okay, all sorted. Cleaned up our inventory a little bit. I just put some of those in the junk bag for now. Uh, yeah, we have eight iron bars. I am curious. Um... Because with the fetch iron bars thing, I wonder if this will be continuous. Like, will this close when we sell one lot of them or not? So we might save and try that. If it closes it out and we can't sell more for a higher profit or whatever, we'll just wait and collect more. But first, how many can we get? Is it 26 each? 
I should know how things work. What are we getting at? 182. Oh, that really is 26 for all of them. Okay. That's terrible. Okay. How much can we get from the smithy? So I have some metal to sell you. We have... All right, we have 182. That just... Oh, 48. Oh, wait, did that close it then? It didn't, but we got XP. Oh, we definitely got a lot more. We got 80. Do we? Yeah. So you get 10 each that way. Not great, but like, you know, our situation, not terrible. Um, I want to try something. Because we got 40 XP. Probably not going to work, but... How do I split the stack? If I put four on the ground, we can just pick them up safely, right? Okay. 20 XP. Interesting. So do you get XP for every bar? Oh, because that would mean the ones we sold originally could have been XP. Well, that's a painful thought. Yeah, it stays open, you get 5 XP each. Ah, oh, man, damn. I mean, hey, more XP is still good. Just disappointing to realize we could have had a little more. Alright, let's go to uh, the wells and stuff. Training. So here we go. I think we might have enough cash for the artillery. Yeah, I'm clicking all over the place. I don't see any essence. I thought there were essence pools here. Am I mistaken? Either way, the training... Oh, there they are. Huh. Wait, there is stuff on the table. Apparently it's not worth anything. Oh, damn. Hello? Um... I want to learn new spells. Sierra. Oh, wait. Hello? Fills the target with poison. Ooh. Hello. I like that. War Blessing is also really nice too. Blesses all nearby allies, helping them hit more often in battle and do more damage. Oh, there's some really nice stuff here. Great Artilla though. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Man, improved Thard is not much. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted because I feel like I really want Artilla. But we're already like very poor when it comes to the control. So I don't know if it's realistic for us to be having three right now. And I don't necessarily, like the poison of the artillery is nice, but I don't think it would necessarily be a good idea over the Fiora at the moment. Because I'm pretty sure the artillery are pretty weak, but they are useful because of the poison. Um... It might honestly be more worth us to get Sierra. So we can use poison. Because that's the main reason I want the artillery at the moment. Hmm. Because like, I feel like we need to improve our control for sure. So I'm, I'm pretty tempted to get Sierra and then War Blessing. Maybe even Rack. Rack, sing, rack a single enemy with agonizing pain. Slows it and makes it weaker in battle. Ooh, there's some really useful stuff for us. Yeah, I'm getting Sierra. I, yeah, I'm good with that. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, we're gonna get you back, huh? Well, actually... We do have impu improved Fiora, but... I don't know, me, part of me is wondering if two Thards isn't a good idea. <laughs> yeah. That's fine for now. Yeah, I think we'll just get innate haste and that'll be, that'll be fine. 
Because, yeah, our control's already terrible. Yeah. And that leaves us with 10 essence, which equals 5 heals, so... I think that's alright. Okay, back to the mines. Right, we are less than 100 XP into our level, so... Let us, uh, let's hope for the best. I think that's actually going to help us a lot. Yeah, getting better control is going to be really useful. Let's keep up those quick saves. Make sure we enter combat first. Nice. Like, I think we're pretty solid against these as long as neither of these run. Which is kind of super random for us at the moment. Yes, zero. Oh, yes, please. Oh, it costs an essence. Okay. Well, I mean, if we have to run back and forth often, it's not a big deal. Like, because I can just skip that in the video, so, you know, a little run for me. Second view, guys. I think that is totally fine. Good. Poison. What is that? I'm going to be, like, saving after literally every fight. We playing safe. Well, safe as we can. Controls. Some writing on the wall. or measuring. Oh, tools. Hello. You have value. You're my friend. Stone bricks? I don't think so. This is a piece of shaped machinery. It looks recently made, although mold and fungus are already creeping onto it. Oh, another defense one. Yep, same, same message there. Okay. We'll have to try it again once uh, mechanics are... I see you there, Thardy boy. Are you coming back around? Where are you going? Fine. I'll get some crystals. You know what? I, I'm going to try something. Okay, we're going to try this out. Not what I was going for, but um, cause you got these select char keys, which is like for them, I think, but I don't use them in that way. So I've set my quick save to just one. Uh, cause that's super easy for me and we're going to need it a lot. I was going to actually try and set it to my middle mouse button, but <laughs> apparently you can't do that. That would have been cool though. Yeah, so now we just hit one. That's super easy. Cause yeah, I think, uh, yeah, they do that normally the keys, but I don't use them for that. So. Yes. Don't have the, oops. 50 health, level two. You getting charged, buddy. And fired. Ah, that's, that's his job. You're not, not meant to stun him. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oosh, hello. Did I tell you how not cool that was? I wasn't going to use that, but have some, have some poison. Can I stun bash you? Oh, it's too far. Ooh, alarm, dang. Oh, you're getting so stun bash. How oh, high? Oh, interesting. Level three, 41 health. What the hell was the ones with the 90? Okay. I'll we'll take you down first. What? Uh, buddy. Why did you run that way? That's not good. Why couldn't I use Dage? Oh, dang. Whoopsie. I was going, uh, was going okay until it wasn't. Oh, hi. Well, that didn't go well. Whoopsie. Yeah, I think at this rate, every single video is going to have a copyright claim on it. I'm going to be getting that music a lot, it would seem. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Okay, if we all go that way, they'll go out of sight, and they shouldn't be part of this unless he calls the backup. 
So ideally, we take this one down, then we get the quick save, then we, yeah. That's not a good start. Yeah, so we'll walk you up a little bit. That's not good either. Try and get that one out of sight. Yeah, wait, why couldn't I use that before? Wait, 20 energy? Holy shit. I only have 26 energy. I, wow, I didn't realize they cost that much. That's, that's kind of insane. Dang, I did. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can only get Seer in twice. Holy shit. No, energy restores itself, doesn't it? Why? That's so that's... All, right, no, okay, that's awkward in a fight, potentially, but it restores itself, right, okay. Yeah, okay. All good. Yeah, walk to there. Uh, where's your stuff? Oh, yeah, I didn't put anything in here, right. I didn't put the current ability. All good, I know things. There we go. I think he's gonna shout shortly though. Oof, this is good, this is good. That's what we want. I do want to fight those. Uh, Alright, eat some... That is not the eat button. Still full. Oh, you did not have one of those on. Though this is a fairly successful iron mine, iron is uh, not valuable enough to justify spending this much time developing a colony. Take something more and you found it. In the walls here you can see flecks of crystal. Crystals are very useful, in fact necessary to make magical items of all sorts. They are prized by shapers and common magicians. Most crystals can be sold to merchants. Fine crystals you find in this mine... Uh, wait. Fine crystals you find in this mine might be workable and valuable magic items. Of course, you would first need to find someone with the ability to craft them. Wait, as in those, or? I've just been selling them. Hello. Okay, level 41. Uh, we're okay-ish. What do you got going on? All right, we good, we good. Nice. Please haste. Haste? No haste. Okay, that's cool. That was a very nice fight. Now, let me take some stuff. Beautiful. It's like a gold each, probably. <laughs> Bucket. Oh, hello. But I shouldn't. I mean, I mean. Oh, damn. Hello. Have you got stuff? Yes, you do. There was another one around. Hmm. My health is far lower than I would like it to be. I feel like you stay full for way too long, cause like. The food kind of feels like nothing special, like, they're, they're very little heals, like, and I don't feel like there's enough around you can hoard, like, a ton to just power heal or anything. I feel like you should be able to use them a little bit more often. That's a big crystal. That's a... Okay, hello. A hundred. Where do you... Why? Why in the world do you have a hundred health? You better be some juicy XP, buddy. Oh, haste, yes. Stun resisted. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. Critical point. Oh, ah. Okay, terrified is not good, but at least it's not, um... What's I'm gonna call it? Charmed. Oh, haste. Oh, you're doing good. 
Just don't get charmed. Okay, that was less ideal. Uh, you'll be back next turn, yep. Get in there. Okay, well that's less good. Ah! Did you just get re-terrified? Okay, 22. 22. F. 41. Um, okay. That helps. That helps a lot. I really wish I could quick save mid fight. Alright, that's good, that's good. This is a nice thing days. It can be an absolute uh, fight saver. <laughs> Because, like, yeah, I can keep those under control. And, yeah, you can, yeah, I can check here. Like, two more. So they're not going to wake up next round. Oh, yes, that's what we want. Did that help that at all? Uh, I'm not sure what they were now. Can I change these mid-fight? I'm very curious. So, yeah, they're 12 and 8. Uh, maybe we should finish the fight first, because I kind of want to quick save it. Yeah. Alright, let's try and get you down. Buddy, I really need you to stop being terrified. Um. Err. It's going well, I don't wanna don't wanna screw myself. Like it's not a thard, so it's not as worrying. But they can still do quite a bit of damage to me. Oh buddy. That is very unfortunate. Please haste. No haste. No heal. Oh, that's poison. That's, ah, oh, so good. So good. Hello. Do you have low, oh crap. I got the save in, so. Still good. Okay, we can work with this. It's not going too bad. Oh yes, please. Oh, eat that poison. And we seem to be doing more damage sometimes, like with Sierra than the fire anyway, so... It's good. Also, I think with this guy, we're seeing the difference of very poor and poor a lot more. Because I, I think I was saying previously in part 1 and 2, like how these didn't matter that much for me in general. But I, I think the difficulty impacts them quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Ugh. I feel like I can't step away, can I? Yeah. A bit worried about getting tharded. Dang. Oh, buddy, I really need you. Ah. Uh. Okay, take two. Let's uh, let's do this a little better this time. Okay, good start. Walk you up a little. Haste. Good, good. Get some poison. Okay, this is good, this is good. Nice slap. Crit and... Oh, oh. This is what we're talking about, guys. Teamwork. Oh, okay, oh, okay, but... You just did your best. It's fine. Poison. <coughs> Aha. Love it. What did you drop? Oh, find mine crystal. Oh, some artists can post them in a value magic line. Ah. So that's the one. That actually looks super familiar from Gene Forge 1, and I, I have no idea what or why, but that seems familiar. 
I don't remember what they were used for though. Okay, we're we're good though. We're good. Now. Uh we've saved, so we can do we can do a bit of a check here. It's a 12 and 1. If we do that. Yeah, okay, I did kind of suspect it would knock it back by one each. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so 11 and 7, is that going to remain the same? Yeah, just one each time, huh? That's down to weak instead of poor, so that's good. He's still... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, what did I get on him? Did I get those? Because I probably added too much to him or something. Charge and Stunning Bash are the main things. But I feel like, yeah, the leadership does seem worth investing in, huh? Oof, we need 1400 XP for the next level. Holy crap. Okay, that's a lot. Hmm. I'd love some more essence, but I, I don't think we can justify that really. Uh, I wanted, yeah, definitely wanted one more mechanics at least. Let's, well, let's jump back to over there and see what kind of difference that made on the doors. We can still jump back if we need to. Yeah, like, what does this need now? Three. I feel like that needed a fair few. That now needs one. That needs two. I kind of want to put mechanics up one more again, even though... In some ways, I feel like we really need others. I'm kind of thinking maybe one more into mechanics than one into battle shaping. I do want to see as well. So he's battle shaping. So he's very poor. If we do that. Wait, that, that was 10, right? Yeah, because poor now. Okay, so that, wait, that reduces it by two? Oh, you're down to five. Uh, let, let's jump back. How? Uh, keyboard shortcuts? How did I manage that? I don't know what I just did then. <laughs> um... All right, we're back to 12 and 8. 12 and 8. That's interesting. So they... Wait, what? Um, did my eyes just deceive me? Didn't that... What? Why is that showing... What? Did my, what? What's happened? They're 12 and 8. Now it's 10. Why did they jump back up to 12? But also, why is the Fiora being impacted by battle shaving? And check you again. You're back to 12. Okay, something weird's going on there. Uh, I... I don't know. Improving shaping skills improves control. Having lots of creation... Yeah, I, I don't... I don't understand that. I don't know if it's bugged or... Like, is that a visual issue? Let's just pump that again. So he's gone down by two again. But yeah, each time the Fuhrer goes down by one, even though it's a different category. And let me guess, you're back to 12. That is very confusing. So uh, maybe we have to remake it? Is 
Give me, give me one moment. All right, let us experiment a little bit to try and get this figured out. Uh, we have our 10 points, we will quick save. I <laughs> use the old combo. Um, right, so it looks like we got two upgrades there. We have the abilities. So, seem to be, we do that. This goes to seven, that goes to 10, goes back up to 12. This stays at seven. So let us absorb. Sorry, bud. And we will recreate the same thought. That's what it should be, right? And it's 11. That's even stranger. It was that, right? Because it was... Uh... Was it that? I thought it was Essence Cost 16. Very mistaken. Either way, we'll make you. And that's 12. I think something's bugging here. I mean, it was obviously there's something bugging with the fact that that goes to 10 and jumps back to 12, so something's obviously wrong. But this is 12, why? You're 7. I don't know what to make of that. Um, let's add a leadership. You're down to six. You're 11. Staying at 11. But it should be less, right? Like, I do that. Still 11. Go down five. Or is it... I, I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's a thing of like how, hmm, I wonder if it's going down, but then it's like readjusting because of the level difference. So like, for example, they're level six with 12, but if I do that, they're now level seven. So maybe it's like a visual glitch that go like it's a visual glitch in that it would be 10 if that was still level six, but it remains 12 because they've got up a level. I think that might make sense. So it's maybe just a simple visual bug that it goes down like that. On the other hand, I have no idea why the control gets better on the Fiora. Okay, a little confusing. Um, nonetheless, I guess that's fine. I think we can lock that in. We will add a leadership. So that's good. Um, we'll get one more. Still very, yeah, I think we'll redo the Thard though. Weak is definitely better. Sorry, bud. Wait, do we have access to the other one? Oh damn, we do. Inky, what's up? The volatile Thard is designed to be a short-lived creation. It fights with the brute strength of a Thard. When it dies, it explodes, damaging all nearby. They're designed to be happy about this. Level five. So it's, it's lower level, interesting. So, base control is adequate for that. Oh. Interesting. Well, I guess they're level 5 versus 4. Huh. This might be better, though. Wait, do you have... Recklessly delivers a powerful punch, taking a small amount of damage. Yeah, mmm. There's no... Oh, wait, do we have charge? But the stun punch is really nice from the other one too. Like the, I feel like the stun punch is actually super helpful. But yeah, if we just get charge and stunning bash. Wait. Oh, because they... Right, they had levels as well as thing, right? Sorry. Um, I think sometimes, you know? 
So it hits poor once we do that. There's, a, there's some big difference there, isn't it? Like, we go from 66 health to 96. Uh, I really want to get the control down as much as possible. But, like, cause if we go with just that, which the more health I think is super helpful. There's a bit of a strength difference there, though. Uh, what symbol did you have? I don't know what it was, but that feels fitting. Maybe we'll just try that. It's like a weird balance though, like, isn't it? Because it's like, the more of this we have, the stronger the thought is, the worse this gets. But I guess it's our willingness to try battles over and over kind of thing, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. It's still a big improvement, obviously. And we can add that on if we want to. But yeah, it goes very poor at that point. They're down to weak, so that's that's an improvement. Uh, right, anyway. We have four skill points left. Which, yeah, I think I'm going to go mechanics. It's, yeah, it's going to be rough, but um, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. It's not great. But it's something. Uh, I wonder if we have enough cash to get uh, something else. No, we'll wait for now. All right, let's back to back to the mines. Yeah, I would have went with the volatile thard, Pinky, if um had the stun bash, but let's just because that is really helpful. I feel like yeah. Can we open? There's one. Nice. Yeah, so that that is really nice. Browser's full of junk, yeah. <laughs> Living tool, nice. Ba oh, you have value. Yes, please. Do we use one on this? Yeah, I think that's probably reasonable. Topaz, oh, oh hello. Oh, it's only worth like the same as one of them crystals. Still, we've got some more iron. In which that's 10 XP, technically. I uh, got some coins. Uh, oh god, these all have value. Give me one sec. Okay, we are all set there. That was probably worth it ish. Uh, we did check that, right? I'm sure, we did. Yeah. What about you? Two, eh, it's tough. That's tough. Hmm. I mean, I think we can be a little unre- like, we can be a little cheaty, maybe, in a sense. Like, as in, check and then reload if it's not worth it, maybe. Okay, we got iron. What else? More iron. More iron. I think we can accept that. I lean towards wanting to stick with things, but we, we might do a little bit of that. Just because it, it, it may start to really stack up in terms of the amount of rooms we need to return to. But, uh, right, let's see what else is going on around here. Because we do have to rescue someone, right? That was That was why we came here. There was someone up here to fight too, I think. Oh, I can tell now we've, uh, I accidentally clicked off the side of the screen. <laughs> oh crap. Hello. 22. Tw oh, ho, 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 yes. That's what we want to see. Okay, that's not what we want to see. Good, good. My criticals are 10. That's kind of sad. That's why we have creations. Crystal. What have you? Oh, 20 discs. Hell yeah. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Oh, right. Controls. 
Because we've got two more mechanics now. Uh, there was also what I made a... No, a screenshot about. That, uh, yeah. We'll see anyway. Uh, okay. On the side, you find very similar controls. A lever and a hole where a control crystal might be inserted. Control crystals are generally used to keep all unauthorized invaders shape or common from activating or deactivating devices. Though you don't have the control key, you are skilled in mechanics. A little work with a bit of wire releases the lock. You pull the lever lever and hear a humming sound from within the device. Power begins to flow through the conduits on the floor. You recall, however, that sometimes defensive pylons don't become active until a shaper approaches to activate them. Okay, so that's a thing. I am mixed on it. Um, so we'll kind of see what happens with that. Because I... The only worry I have is them killing... The pylons killing things and me not getting XP. Because XP is limited in this game. There's there's not really any way to farm XP generally that I'm aware of. Also, sorry if I forget to put the lights on. Uh, where are we going? Oh yeah, we haven't been in there. That was where some were. Five tools, man. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. 41. 50. Okay, we can work with that. Better if you got haste, but it's good. Ow. What just happened? Ah. I did not mean to go for a Bristol walk. Max for you. Ooh, crystal. Yeah, am I not defaulted to... I thought I'd set it to... Maybe I do have to click it. I thought you could set, though, like... Uh... Hmm. I don't know, I can see it. Alright, don't mind me. Probably mistaken. Grab that. Uh, okay, these look way fancier than they are. They're like half the price of one of them. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, my bad. Those are pretty valuable. I hovered over this and it was like 180 to 175, but no, they're 30 each. It was a stack. Ah. Those are quite good then. Same with these. These are equivalent of three of them. Iron shield? Ah, uh, I mean, we can use that. Sure. Why not? All right, nice. That was all in a nest. Random. All right, onwards. We've explored most of this place, but I don't know where that survive. I mean, well, there, there is that. So, hmm. Because yeah, Keeper Thorsilla in Dry Peak asks for your help. There is a mine to the north of the town afflicted by the same rogue infestation plaguing everywhere else. Three servos ran into the mines and didn't return. She asked to find any of this alive and show them safety. Ah, so that could be one of the three. Uh, oh, shit. I don't think I checked that. Oh, damn, I did not. There's healing spores. Oh, healing spores are great. They're, you know, heal all thing. There is a surprising amount of crap with value. I like it. Uh, where are you going to go? Something like that. I'll deal with our selling of things later. Yeah, so I guess we can activate this. This is just a big crystal shell full of program essence goo. It is currently inert. It can become active if it gets power and a shaper close by it. Hmm. Maybe it like, actually acts to help you. Like, if you're near, it'll be part of the fight or something. 
Not sure. Man, it is it is insane how many places need like a lot of living tools. We'll be unlocking the crap out of those in the future. Man, we're getting a lot of stuff to sell. Oh, where does this go? Oh, Western Mines. Oh, okay. Oops. I pressed escape. I didn't mean to actually do that. Oh, right. It's green now, huh? Oh, wrong one. I forgot that's how that works. No? Oh, wait. I think it's got to be green to be able to go from the other side. Whoopsie. Oop, got another crystal here. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, disappointing barrels. Oh, is that a light board again? I really wish there was some... Like, I, I don't really notice for a minute for some reason. I just It's like dark, but it's not dark enough that I feel like something's wrong. That makes sense. Uh, we're running out of places to check. Rock. I'm good on rocks, thank you. Uh, you don't have the control key in your mechanics to- oh, okay. Hmm. That's suspicious. Not seeing much around. Ooh, hello stuff. Big fan of stuff. Yeah, I think the mine was a good choice. We're getting lots of goodies. Absolutely. Um, anyway, I feel like we've covered a lot. Not finding any servials. Oh. The servo quarters are a mess. It smells terrible and there is refuse everywhere. You immediately see why. In the back of the quarters you see three servials. They are hiding, trembling with fear. They've been here for some time, but somehow they've managed to evade the rogues. They're so hungry that they barely react when they see you. One of them manages a weak smile. I see. But do you have stuff? I'll take a metal pot. I ain't fussy. What else you got going on here? You're saying you're hungry. There's perfectly good food on the ground. I mean, hey, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Oh, wait, can I just... Wait, what? Oh, it's that. Can I just... Wait, I, well, I don't need that, do I? But can I just drop things in here? Oh my god. I kept, like, scrolling with these. Ah. Okay. So how are you guys doing? The servo walks up to you shyly. He's a miner, trapped back here after the latest group of rogues invested the mines. His hands are worn from long toil and a small pick hangs from his belt. Although he doesn't recognize you, miners are a simple servile ser variant, bred and trained to obey shapers totally. Shaper, we are hungry. Help us, please. Take us home. I can probably do that. First, tell me what you know of the mines. Mines are where we work. Mines bad and monsters hungry. Please take us home. If you want better information than that, you won't be able to get here. Servals are not made to be smart. Alright, follow me. I'll lead you back to Dry Peak. Well, actually, do, they have, do any of the others say anything? They're probably just going to repeat, but I'll check. Alright, let's go back. Yes, Shaper, good Shaper, save us. The three servos line up and prepare to follow you. Alright, let's go, guys. I assume you're going to manage to follow. <laughs> Hopefully. Not quite the way I was going, but... But I think we've cleared it. I, I haven't seen any rogues in a while. Uh, if I just like, click over here, are they going to figure it out? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Ah, good job, guys. Very good. Very good. Hooray. Let's go, bud. Oh, wait, do I need to like wait for them? 
Uh, I guess we'll find out. I don't, I don't know if they actually made it back or not. Uh, I guess we should find her. Because I don't know if I had to wait for them to go into the, like, the blue area or something. I guess we'll find out. I may have to jump back there. I think this was her, right? How do I... Isn't there a button for seeing, like... Ah, that's the one. Tab. Um. Yep, they're back here. Okay. <laughs> uh. That makes sense. Okay. Hooray! Okay. Good. Ooh. Oh! Ho, ho ho ho! We just got 50 XP each! Oof! That's nice. That is very nice. I'll take that. Hell yeah. Rescuing people is the way to go. Uh, I found your servos and rescued them. Yes, they found their way back to me. Thank you. They were very upset, but I managed to calm them down. I would like to pay you back somehow for your help. How about this? I know you are just an apprentice, and I have learned a valuable spell for helping servos when they get sick. Maybe you do not know it yet. You can find the instructions in my chambers upstairs. Uh, okay. 104. Oh, dang. We got 290 XP between all that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, question. Oh, there we are. Like, where is this upstairs place? And have I already stolen whatever you're talking about? Are you sleeping standing up? What are you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, okay, it's just the... Uh, yeah, alright, same as before, stuff. Uh, anything of value here, by chance? Oh, hello, Rube. You have value, you are mine. Good deal, good deal. I don't know if that was maybe locked previously or something. This chamber contains an old, heavily used textbook. Shabers don't write a lot of textbooks. They gave permission for several of them to be placed in Dry Peak. Then the unfortunates assigned here can learn the skills they need to operate the settlement. Using your mental training, you read the book very quickly, absorbing the instruction within. It is about the creation and care of Thards. Perhaps useful to defend a remote colony, though nobody is making use of the knowledge. Your skill-making Thards increases. Oh. That is useful. Okay, awesome. Okay, yeah, I was just checking. So that's kind of like a double-edged sword for us at the moment. Because that results in the level going from 6 to 7. And here it's currently poor. But with that upgrade, this jump, that goes to 7. That goes to 10 and becomes very poor again. So we gain something that should be a positive, you would think. Like this. But, yeah, each extra point of this skill increases the level of these creations. Which, yeah, it's kind of a mixed thing. I don't know if it's meant... Well, I assume it's meant to work like that, but... It's like, because I understand, like, these, you're powering it up through this or something, but when it's the actual, like, shaping skill, it feels kind of weird that you get... Yeah, well, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Like, with the fact that we get another level, but, yeah, we also go from poor to... Very poor. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, the strength is still the same at 3, but we did go from 88 to 96 health. So... But yeah, we're back to very poor, which... Yeah, I don't know. That's, um... That's awkward, isn't it? I'm also curious, because I think we did check with one of the others, but I wonder if that spell has become more expensive in the Warren because of that. And if we can still get it and stuff. Because I think it said it can only do two levels. But I assume that's not just the first two. It's just two in general. But I, I feel like we should check that. Oh yeah, while we at it. Since it's, it's probably fine. I just want to check in case though. Because if it did happen to like bump up the price or anything. Which I, I think we checked it. But I'm not going to be sure with all of them. But I mean, if it did, it might be worth getting money to upgrade that. Before we read that book kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we have... We have 13 iron bars. And a whole bunch of junk. There you go. Another 65 XP. 
And we've 250 coins, which I'm pretty sure the thought upgrade was like 192 something. We'll, we'll check. Okay, yeah, no, it's still there. I was uh, I was five off. Uh, let us just test in that case then. Just to want to make sure of things. Oh, so there's only our first one with that, so we can still get one more from there. Um, which, yeah, brings that up to three. It also brings that up to level eight, and still, yeah, very poor. Yeah, I guess levels only affect uh, certain things. Like, is he gaining health, but not gaining strength? Hmm. Because, yeah. I, I don't know. It seems like there's, like, not... There's got to be more to it, right? Because it kind of seems like upgrading your shaping skill isn't that good of a thing, potentially. Uh, in some cases. Like... Let's jump back. So these are the same, right? 3, 2, 2, 5. And we went from... Like, so if we upgrade that, that's to 103... But we're also gaining two strength. Obviously it costs essence, but it's only two essence. So it seems like there is a lot more gain out of simply using this than getting an actual upgrade. Like both of them. But I think it was the same, right? That's 103. 3225. Grab that. Three, two, two, five. And now the health is 96. 96 at level seven. Oh, wait, what? Did it. Oh, uh, wait, what? Did the level knock what? Two. Oh, now it's eight. Wait, did something weird happen there, or did I miss them? Either way, yeah, three, two, two, five. And it's 103 health, same as that. So, what feels, I mean, it just seems like an upgrade should be like a very significant thing when it's a shaping skill. But, in terms of like right now, control level and stuff, we would almost be better not having both of these, not that we're keeping this one, but the one we got from that book and this one, we'd be better off not having that and just getting a strength upgrade. It costs us two essence. We gain the same level and same amount of health, but we also get strength, impacting our control level the exact same. So I'm a little conflicted there. Uh, like we might be better off holding off at the moment, which is weird. Yeah, I made a save here, but I think I, I still have one that's before we did. I Wait, do I? Oh damn, I need to make more saves. Yeah, we don't actually have one before this book, because I was thinking, like, we'd be better off just making a note in my notes that this book exists and getting it later. Because all, all that's really happened is we gained some more health at the cost of going from poor to very poor, when we could have just done that for the same exact bonus, except we can toggle it on and off, and we gain strength. So, yeah, that's a real mixed one, huh? On a positive, getting some good XP. Uh, well, we got a thousand. Damn, we've already, yes, we, it was 1600, wasn't it? 14. It was 1400. Damn, so we've already uh, knocked it down to a thousand. Nice. But yeah, we just that's just something we're going to have to keep in mind, I think, going forward. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that's good. So let's unload our crap. Give me, give me a second on that. Just for reference of what we have at the moment. Oh, right, got to resell those because I jumped back. But yeah, we got a bit of crap, so. Uh, merchant, yeah, I think these are fine to sell. They don't mention anything, unlike these, which specifically say, like, some artisans can process into valuable magical items. So we won't sell those. But uh, I'm going to clean this out, then I'll update you guys. I'll resell them, and we'll see what money we got. I don't know if we should start keeping these cloth. It says usually best sold at a store. 
I, I, things like that make me wonder if there will be a use. So we might hold on to the cloth. Otherwise, I think we're all set here. I did accidentally pick up some salt from somewhere on one of these tables. So I'm going to drop those two somewhere before they bother me. But then it's got to go to the blacksmith. Okay, I dropped the salt and mat behind that corner so they don't bother me. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if they respawn. But uh, we are all sorted here, a little bit neater. All organized. And uh, yeah, we got 545 coins. We are... We are doing very well. Uh, I think... Well, didn't one of these have, like, some living tools to sell? I feel like they Oh, you sold us some iron. That's horrible value, but it's technically buying XP as well. Don't think it's worth it, though. Uh... Ooh, yeah. They're a future thing, because, like, the price of, like, three of them is, like, a skill for us, so... Yeah, but uh, I think we're probably getting toward wrapping up here. We, uh, it was mine day today. It took a lot longer than I expected. Um, there's still some areas in there we can't get to. Um, we're also going to do one more thing, but, um... But, yeah, there's still some areas in the mine we can't get to because of tool things. Uh, but we did clear the map otherwise. Um, and, yeah, we completed the, uh, the rescue. I still really, like, ah, uh, number one thing I would love is a completed quest log. I I really question why that's not a thing. I, I think that would just be so unbelievably helpful in a game this size. Like, it's so easy to have life just get in the way for a couple weeks or a month and you come back and you gotta, like, really rejog your memory with things. So I, I feel like that would help a lot. Um, I've mentioned it before and I probably will again. It's just, I... It's one of them things I feel like would just... It would do wonders, man. But, um, another thought. I didn't actually mean to come here. I want to go to the Warren and buy a couple of skills before we finish up. But I just had a thought. I wonder if we can fight these without consequence and get some XP. Hmm. How about we do a little test on that? I mean, we don't need them. Let's see if we can. Do you want to threaten this character? Maybe it'll turn hostile? Yeah. Absolutely I do. Might be a bad idea, but I want to. Oh, cool, we got XP for that. Nice, nice. Uh, I don't really get that far. I don't know if it's gonna aggro her. Now that would be bad. That I don't want to do. So here we go. I'm hoping it's only them, obviously. We're kind of hiding right now from her anyway. Nice. Maybe with some thorns. I mean, hey, we, we do what we got to do, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I... I didn't mean to do that. Uh, are we cool? I'm very confused. Like, she's not attacking me. Oh, no, she is. Hmm. I'm not, what is she using? Okay. Well, it was an interesting experiment. Because I just clicked on her and it went combat, so... Okay, well, anyway. Skills now. Okay, let's uh, see what we can get. Uh, da, da, da. Rack would be really helpful. War Blessing would be really helpful. Uh, I really want the Artilla, but it's obviously going to be like really bad on control. Like, we can experiment, right? This, this is the point of being able to save. Well, it's not, but nonetheless. If we did in theory, right? 
Okay, so you'd be poor. What's going to happen to them, though? That's what I'm curious about. Because poison spray can be nice. Sprays a cone of venom burning in foes and poison them for several turns. That is... That is nice. So if we want to do that, something like that. You're poor. Uh, I, th I think that gained one. Gained one. Did I, I? The experiment would help when you gather data, huh? Okay. So they're five and ten. Huh. That's nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. Well, there is a kind of significant essence cost in a way. Mainly because we don't have a ton of essence. Uh, wait, how much essence did we gain? Because we've got 10 spare, right? I feel like that's what we had before. This might be worth it then. I mean, they were already very poor. It's only added one more, which is still not great. But that won't, yeah, if, if they're only adding one control level each for the sake of this. That's potentially quite worth it. Yeah, I feel like the skull's feeding for Mr. Poison. Oh, you can get an eight haste. I would like that. All status is given by this creation will last 30% longer. Ooh, that's that's nice. Ugh. That's really rough on the essence. An eight haste though. That's so good. I mean, we can change it, but I feel like uh, this is good. I wanted that spell anyway. We've got a decent amount of cash. Um, and we could still learn. Yeah, I, racks cut. Rack a single enemy with an agonizing pain. Slows it and makes it weaker in battle. Fast spell to cast. Each extra action point of this skill increases the effect. Hmm. Oh shit, we can get both. I wanted War Blessing as well. Yeah, which we can actually get. Uh, oh, protection. Shields all nearby allies, helping them be hard to hit and take less damage in battle. Ugh. Both so useful. Ah, protection or War Blessing? I mean... We want them hitting harder, but honestly... We do take a lot of damage. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Rack and Protection, and next up we'll get War Blessing. Because I feel like Protection can offer some extra maneuverability in a sense, but... Yeah. Because Rack's the kind of thing that would be good if, um... Well, actually, I don't know how Rack... Does Rack and Days stack? I'm not sure. I get how rack works now, actually. Oh, crap. I need to read things better, though. Your skill one. You need two. Mental magic. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Blessing magic. You need two. Oh, shit. Okay. Dang. I can get war blessing, though. The other is not so much, technically. Ah. And we still have the, the improved crate thar that's pretty cheap, which you could get, but again, it's not really what we want right now. Okay. That works for me. Uh, whoopsie. Just want to move some skills around. Uh, yeah, I'll put these, put that. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be war blessing will be really useful. That's the kind of thing where potentially you can do like say, and it, it, it uses a lot of energy. I mean, essence is a problem when we start doing stuff. That's why it's a bit of a mix. We'd have a lot more free essence with the artillery away. Um, but for example, we get one more level up. We keep the same team. We have a bit more essence. Things get easier. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of thing where like say we were dealing with four enemies, five enemies. You know, we can daze them. Then we can war bless everyone you know, attack them down, days is fading, re-days, uh, things like that I think is going to be really important for getting through, 
uh, the hardest difficulty here. But yes, that, uh, that is going to do it for today. We uh, conquered the mine, which took a lot longer than expected, but it was good. We got some uh, combat experience. We got some goodies. We've learned new spells. We have a new teammate. Uh, yeah. And um, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it, but um, if anyone wants to name any of these guys, let me know. I'm going to stick around forever, but like, if anyone wants to name them, I'll keep that name for the main creation. And we'll keep naming it that until we replace, kind of thing. Like, as in, if this Red Fiora can be locked into one name. And if, you know, at some point we move over to a Roma and that's off the team, Roma can have a new name. Uh, but otherwise, the Fiora I'll keep remaking if it dies with the same name, yeah. Okay, I think I over-explained that, but... Yeah, just uh, throwing it out there, you know, why not? But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, many more to come. Uh, I also have a video coming up hopefully soon of how to recall the Yoshipa. And I'm going to include like a download for like maybe three or four that I've already recolored myself for people who don't want to go through the Photoshop part of it. Um, so hopefully that'll be good and make sense. And yeah, just uh, more coming up soon. We really just focused on the mine today, hey? Mine and the, the iron. <laughs> that was good though. Um, I think for next time... We might head out to here, yeah. I think we might head out this way and see what's going on. Which uh, let us get a little little peek. Dragon Peak Fields. Oh, let's just slay three rogues on. Okay, let's just let's peek our heads in. Okay. Okay. We've got some stuff going on, yeah. Well, I guess we can uh, yeah, we'll just stop here. We'll pick up here. I don't know if we've got to go to town again. I think we're good, so this inventory's organized. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, I think we're good. So, we've got only eight essence, which is a tad awkward for using stuff like this. Um, like, it's one essence for Seer, one for Days, two for War Blessing, two for Heal, so... But I think it's, the trade-off is basically, we're gonna have more strength at the cost of having to run back to an essence pool more often, basically. <laughs> which I think that's kind of a fine trade-off, uh, overall. Because I said, it's more just the thing I can run, skip it in the video, move, like you move on. Um, I think we need to just find like a really convenient essence pool for when we're traveling out of area, maybe. Because you've got to run all the way to the back of the Warrens. But I think, I think maybe Drypeak Gates had one closer or I'm sure we'll find one that's a lot closer to like an entrance. So, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll continue from here. Not cause a war um maybe we'll see but yeah we'll uh slay the three rogues it seems and i guess the fetch iron bar is just gonna stick around forever maybe uh i think the saltweed one might be here you said someone named sharon had some for you can find her in the grove to the northwest oh maybe not uh maybe that oh that might come off here somewhere down here maybe yeah not sure. Um, but yeah. Next uh, next level, I'm not sure what we'll do. Okay, you know what? We can do this next time. <laughs> we'll wrap up. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And yeah, name suggestions if anyone wants to. Be well. Thank you, thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.